If a tree falls in the woods and no one is there to hear it, then it still made a sound because it uh, caused vibrations in the air molecules which produce a wave, which is indeed a sound wave. So there, debate solved, internet. This is the Mississippi King welcoming y'all back to more Let's Play Ocarina of Time. And in the last episode, we climbed all the way up to it. The Goron City inside Death Mountain. And here these Gorons seem to be having problems. Because the Dodongo Cavern seems to be blocked. And we're here to uh, look for the Spiritual Stone of Fire. It should be around here somewhere. So Goron City is a big place, and the spiritual stone can be anywhere. Maybe it's back this way, on that little floating island thing. It's not really floating, it's suspended by ropes. I don't know how that works. Hey, it's dangerous for a little kid like you to come out here. You might fall down. If I'm not mistaken, you came out here to eat the red stone. What? That's not why you're here? You're looking for a spiritual stone? You must mean that delicious looking red stone that once, once displayed here. I was so hungry that I thought it would be okay to get you. I thought Big Brother took it away. He always says that everyone is after that red stone. Huh. The royal family's messenger. Interesting. Well, maybe that will be relevant. But let's, uh, look around soon. So let's, uh, head up a level. Maybe we'll find what we're looking for there. If I'm not mistaken, a Goron should be rolling around on this level. Of course, maybe I'm mistaken. It should be a... Okay, here's a place we can't go to just yet. I'm not quite sure what's there. It's been a while since I've played this game. Yeah, I believe this is uh, the level where the Goron is rolling around. And uh, there's nothing much uh, interesting, he says. So let's uh, just keep looking around for more. And we can't do anything about those boulders. And but what we can do is head down, I believe. Now I admit that this score on City is not my favorite in the series, my favorite being Twilight Princess, but it's still pretty good. I do indeed think it holds up pretty well. I think uh, it's actually kind of the worst in the series, but that is in no way a criticism of it, as it is uh, really interesting and I like all of the maze-like qualities of it. That path back there was a shortcut to the Kakiri Forest. I like how interconnected this world is, it's really neat. Oh? We don't get many visitors way up here, where are you from? The forest? What's a forest, eh? It's where a lot of trees and plants grow? Now I'm even more confused. Nothing grows around here besides the bomb flowers. We don't have seeds or nuts around here either. Even deco sticks are very scarce around here. I know a trick to conserve sticks. Yeah, that basically just tells us that uh, to conserve sticks, you can attack with your sword and you'll put it away, and that will keep it safe, but I already know that, so it's not really useful information. I 
I was thinking maybe if I tried to shoot at that thing, then it would... Then I'd be able to explode it. But I guess not. So let's uh, try and get done with what we actually came here for and open that door. If we just play Zelda's lullaby, let's look for that spiritual stone. Is that Staronia? And let's just get this box for up like it. It never hurts. Of course it hurts the person whose pots I'm breaking, but they don't care, do they? I mean, you wouldn't care if I broke your pots, uh, would you, Internet? Um, maybe I shouldn't have asked that question. And you're complaining about uh, the king treating you so poorly? I mean, you were expecting a messenger, so... Why are you complaining about what you get? Well, this is why I went to, to the Lost Woods first. To learn Saria's song, and that's what you're supposed to play. This uh, will get him to dance. It's kind of a strange and somewhat funny scene. I mean, look at this. This is a sin. I mean, what can I say to this? It, this is just silly. The scene is somewhat amusing because of just how sinful it is. I mean, what can I say to a pun like that? I mean, I, I got nothing. I don't know what to believe. Just like that, my depression is all gone. Something just came over me. I am Darunia. I am the big boss of the Gorons. Was there something you wanted to ask me about? What, you want the Spiritual Stone of Fire too? The Spiritual Stone of Fire, also known as the Gorons Ruby, is our race's hidden treasure. But hold on, I'm not going to give it to you that easily. Why don't you go destroy the monsters inside of the Dodongo's cavern and prove you're a real man? That way everyone will be happy again. If you do it, I will give you anything you want, even the spiritual stone. I have something for you. I'm not really giving you this for anything in return. I just want you to have it. With this, you can lift both worlds. And with that, we can lift bomb flowers, as you may have guessed. Also, I don't know why I was using my Darth Vader voice for Daronia. That was weird. So, it's not really part- it's not that useful. I mean, it is mandatory, but I mean, after we beat the second dungeon, it will become completely useless. But we can use our lighted sticks to blow up that wall and open up the shop, and it is completely useless. You can look around in it, but there is nothing interesting in here. I already have a fairy, so that red potion, which restores all health, is not really any use to me. But let's uh, go and light some more torches. That's uh, a good idea. The book. There's uh, not a fear. As I said, it's not really my favorite Goron City in the series, but it's interesting. Let's uh, open up that shortcut sooner rather than later. It's nice to have it out of the way. And there is one more thing that uh, I have uh, to do here. Did you see that uh, hot thing in the middle of the, the bottom floor? Well, we're supposed to do something with that. 
Well, actually, it's right now there are two things I have to do. And the first of these things can be found up here. And you see that uh, blocked wall? Well, we can actually destroy it with a bomb block. So let's do that. There is a series of, uh, of blocked walls, so we may as well try and clear it. There's something really neat in here. You ain't gonna believe it, internet. It's so awesome, your minds will be blown. I'm serious, internet. You, you just gotta wait and see. And it's not available. So yeah, we gotta wait. Well, we ain't exactly got five or six years to wait, now can Oh well. Guess we're not gonna do that. Now that we're on the same floor as that little one Goro, I may as well show something really neat. You can just put a bomb there, and it'll explode. First shot. God, first shot. And he just complains that we stopped him from rolling, but whatever. And now for the second thing. Let's try and... Let's try and... Throw a bomb into that. Not like that. That was terrible. I think there's a bomb in here. I'll be the first uh, to admit that uh, some of the game's side quests can get fairly tedious. Uh, this isn't a great example of a good side quest. Look at that! I got a ball in the second try. And even better, I got a piece of heart. But you gotta keep an eye out for those, that's always good. But with that, I think I'm going to start heading out of the Golan City. Actually, I, I believe there's something in Kakariko Village that we can do. No, actually, it's Clock Town. Castle Town, I mean. Sorry, sometimes I get the two mixed up. But I mean Castle Town. Clock Town is another game, viewers. And then now that we have the bomb power, we can just pick up a bomb... Now that we have the bomb bracelet, I should say, we can pick up bomb flowers like that. And then we can try and do a backflip off of that. This is sequence breaking, you're not supposed to do that. Instead, you're supposed to go through a more arduous uh, task of, um, well, it's a long story. It's a long story of what you have to do to get that. So now we are at five hearts instead of four. And that's good. I think I'll head in here. And this is uh, the Dodongo's cavern. If we throw a bomb flower at the wall like that, we can break it open. And uh, here it is. I'm not uh, interested in going here just yet, so, so I think I'll leave. And I will see you when we get to, to Castle Town. See you later. And we're here at Castle Town. This uh, is where I want to head in. And there you see the, um, the shooting gallery. 
And we're here to uh, play a game. And the boy aims. Basically, we're supposed to aim at these rupees and shoot them like that. And don't miss, you're supposed to get all of them. I seem to be doing terribly. I mean, I could swear I used to do better. Well, I'll give it a nice shot. All puns aside, this game actually gave me a bit of trouble the first time I played it. But it's not that hard, you just shoot the rotates like so. It's not that complicated, but I mean, it, I had some trouble in it. I think I got this one. What did I tell you, Internet? And what do we get for it? An improved bullet seed bag. I think the improved bullet seed bag is actually the max uh, that we can get, like the biggest we can get. And now that we're here, we may as well go to the Happy Mask shop to pay back uh, our our mask. And the reason my rupee count is different is because I played it to, again just to see if it, you could get a piece of heart out of it. I was mistaken. You actually get 50 rupees from it. And that's why my rupee count is different. But let's uh, head uh, out. I'll meet you again when I decide what I'm going to do, I'm not sure. And it's decided. We're heading to Longhorn Ranch. It's that place off in the distance, as you can see. And uh, there's a tree. What's it go? Well, let's go and find out, shall we? What's it got? Some hearts. Yeah, not much to it. Well, controversy time. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is overrated. I can practically feel the, the flame coming from the comments section already. Let the flames burn into this! <laughs> In all seriousness, uh, we should talk to Talon and see what uh, we can do with him. Now that I've caused a flame war on the internet, I can use its flames to roast popcorn, and I can use you, denizens of the internet, to fuel the minds of Saturn and my room dry, and afterwards I shall feast upon the bodies of the undead. Or eggs. Same difference, really. So how this uh, minigame works is that you have to uh, find three cuckoos uh, that are among the, the regular ones. And uh, I just got one, so you can find them by just uh, looking through them, and I'm doing a terrible job at that. Please excuse me. Where are they? Okay, that's one. Well, we can try again. I mean, the reward we get for it is pretty good. 
And it's only five rupees, so that's not too bad. So let's give this another shot. Second time's a charm, right? Oh, I'm uh, to a bad start. Already have one of them. And I think the other one is here. Yeah! Man, that was pretty good. Um, how am I supposed to answer that? Yes. Yeah, that's kind of a strange question. But uh, what do we get for it? We get a bottle of milk. And more importantly, we got a bottle. Let's go working around a bit more. Maybe we'll find something interesting. Like uh, Ingo. And he uh, works for the two ranch owner. Well, the ranch owner. And uh, the ranch owner is called Tao, and we just uh, saw him. And his daughter is uh, called Malin. Yeah, Talon and Malin. Real clever guys. But, um, there's a piece of heart uh, here in this ranch. It's way in the back. This way. There, there's a door somewhere. And it's this way. Just head inside and, and we get to do a fun little puzzle. The puzzles in this game aren't uh, spectacular. Well, they're good, but they're not the best in the series. Personally, I think Twilight Princess has some of the best puzzles in the series. And so they really did it put a lot of her work into the scenes. But yeah, this uh, puzzle isn't too difficult. To just follow my move. Just pull these boxes the way I am going in. And you should be able to get inside a crawl space. See? There it's out of the way. Now I can climb inside. And here's our piece of art. So, um, that's not all we uh, have left to, to do at the ranch, so uh, I'll head outside and try and go up there, just to see, uh, to show you what we can do, and I think I'll try and do that. Just go around the fence, uh, like this. It's inside the gate. And actually, you know what? I think I'll do that next episode, but in the meantime, this is the Mississippi King signing out. And you ought to give that subscribe button a falcon punch if you know what's best for your internet. Or don't. <laughs>